Yeah, so, so DNSSEC is, um, I would say, the biggest upgrade to the Internet's infrastructure in over 20 years. So it secures the Internet's phone book. The DNS is a, the Internet's phone book, you type in a, a name like a, on a web browser and you get an IP address for that. DNSSEC actually secures that. This is something that has not changed for over 20 years. So we consider it quite, quite a big deal. People often say, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So for, for many, many years, for, you know, since, since 1983, um, the internet just worked fine, the DNS just worked fine. Uh, however, around 1995, someone discovered that there was a way to lie. So the reason we, we needed DNSSEC was that we needed a way to ensure that when we asked a question, that we got the answer we expected. Um, in 2008, uh, a gentleman named Dan Kaminsky found a way to respond, um, to, to redirect by lying to a, to a question. So if someone said, what is the address for my bank? They could respond with something slightly different and it would go to a different website. And at that website, people would then type in their account information, their password, and get redirected. Uh, he not only found a way to do this very quickly, but he, he did this in a very public manner, which made governments and, and industry suddenly very worried about this, and they immediately then embraced DNSSEC, which had been a protocol that had been developed in the IETF and within this community, with many of the members of the LACNIC community, uh, over many, many years. So the protocol was there, but as with many things, we were, we were waiting for the politics to shake out, and so I would say Dan did us a favor. Uh, by finding this, this, this weakness and making it very public. So that's, that's why we had to deploy it. So without, without DNSSEC, um, the domain name system is vulnerable because people can then respond with other, other responses and, and redirect you, send you to the wrong web page. But as to, as to your question as to how vulnerable it is, the number of attacks we have actually seen where DNSSEC would have made a difference are, they're on the rise, but they haven't reached a, an endemic level. So it's something that we've been very lucky to get the full support for the community. Actually, it's the community that came to ICANN and, and came to many of us to make DNSSEC happen because they see the future. They see that there's a problem here. Um, so, the DNS is vulnerable without DNSSEC. There are other things people can do to try to, to ensure the DNS is safe, and most, most implementations have done this. But what we really care about DNS is by, by securing the DNS, we've, by mistake, uh, ended up with a global public key infrastructure. We've ended up with this, we've secured this big database, this global database that doesn't care what country you're in, what company you're in, um, and now, for us geeks, as you can tell, it makes us very excited that we've created this, this, this platform that entrepreneurs and other engineers come up with new ideas and build all kinds of security products into. And so for us, yes, DNSSEC is, protects the DNS and makes it secure, but it's kind of as, a, as, as by mistake, it's created this global um, secure database that we can use that can solve so many problems that, that we've been seeing on the internet. Good question. So with security comes keys and responsibility. Um, the question as to who is responsible, it's, it remains exactly the way the internet has remained from the very beginning. The people that are responsible are the ones that either own the domain names, it's the community. Everyone owns a piece of the internet. No one person controls it. Um, if you have a domain name, that's your responsibility. The keys are responsible. You are responsible for maintaining and running DNSSEC on that. If you are, say, .com or .mx, I mean, it's then you are, that organization is responsible for the security of that layer. It's, it's hierarchical, okay? So at each layer, each layer is responsible for that. But in the end, I'm very proud to say that everything we've done, even at ICANN at the root, has been designed so that no one person has control. In fact, at the root, we have 21 people from, from 18 different countries that are involved. And we at ICANN cannot do anything with the involvement of those people. It is truly 
the bottom-up multi-stakeholder design, uh, and it's that's how it's managed. That's how it's operated, and and just like the internet itself, it's it's completely run by the community and the people interested in this. The geeks, the companies, the private sector, governments, whoever whoever is involved is all on an equal footing. And uh, we've designed the NSSEC to, to follow that pattern just as the DNS was designed.